Hello, welcome back. This is Coinpig. So, on Thursday, we normally have the Mondi money distribution from the Queen. That didn't happen this year because of the current situation. But the Royal Mint have got Mondi money on their website. Not this year's, obviously, but past years. And they are quite a lot of sets. So, some of them have sold out already. I thought I'd take a look at some of them and see what you thought. Now, obviously, we'll have a look at this set here to start with. This is 2006 Mondu set. So, yes, yeah, this is the 2006 Mondu set, silver Mondu money. There's 1p, 2p, 3p and 4p coins or I should say pence these are the designs now I'm not sure that that's correct because it's not 1999 but these are the coins the sets that you buy they are quite expensive I think the prices on the raw mint website are a bit on the high side and you may be able to find them elsewhere a little cheaper also some of the photographs are exactly showing them in their pristine condition like here these are the coins 395 pounds from the Royal Mint website Now this is the history of the Mondi money. The tradition of handing out Royal Mondi money has been happening since King Edward the Confessor. It's a Christian religious event held annually on Maundy Thursday, the day preceding Good Friday, and as part of that process the distribution of arms, which evolved over centuries as monetary gifts, have been distributed by the monarch or their deputy to a select group of elderly people. Recently, that's been held at Windsor Castle, and obviously this year, because of the situation, it didn't happen in a traditional way. It was sent through the post and not in a ceremony. As well, let's have a look at some of the old one. This is the oldest one that's available, 1784. This one, George III. They are not in the best condition, obviously. These are quite old coins at this point. But it's a tradition that's been going on, as you can tell, for a number of years. £665 for this. As you can see, some of these are not yet available, or you have to order these by phone. Let's have a look at this one, for instance. This is the 1893 Queen Victoria Mondi money. Obviously, about 100 years younger. In the previous set that we saw, but still not in the best condition at this point. But it is you know, getting on for 125 years old now. £345 for this particular set here. Call to order these ones in particular. Um, As you can see, there are quite a lot of sets. Some of them are still available in limited numbers. There's uh, Edward VII, 1907. The 
Again, none of these are in particularly perfect condition, but you know, over 100 years old, so. Four hundred ninety-five. Those. Let's have a look at the detail here. So the current queen has started the tradition of changing the cathedral city location for each of the services. Now, that does mean that she normally hands out these in person. As I said at the beginning, that didn't happen this year because of the situation that we're in. Obviously, the Queen is self-isolating within Windsor Castle at the moment. But there are quite a few of these sets still available. I mean, I'm looking, if I ever decided to buy some of these, for a 1974 set, because it contains what was issued at Salisbury Cathedral. I know Salisbury very well, I used to live there, so that does interest me, but I don't really want to pay £500 for what is essentially about a few pence, basically, of face value. So when you look at these, 1978. Unfortunately, I don't have a 1974 set, which is the one that I'd be looking for. other historic coins that the Royal Mint do. As you can see these popular historic coins. But we're really only here for the Maundy money this Easter weekend. Now I must admit I was a bit late in getting this together and I apologize but there have been things going on, so I was slightly distracted. These are technically not new releases as such, but obviously have been around for a few years. So that is the Maundy Money for 2020. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Take care. Speak to you next time.